them all. A virtual team league update then for week four. Um, let's see how everybody's done uh, last week. Okay then, so where are we at at week four? It appears that there's some really serious scoring going on right the way down throughout the league. So not just in the top echelons of the uh, of week four, all the way through uh, last week. Um, let's kick off then with the leaders, I suppose. Virtual uh, Ravens one still there, hanging on with a with about 120 points, I think it is in the uh, in the average there from the England Invaders, who've had two storming weeks. Uh, to be fair, and uh, again, uh, topping the week last week with their scoring. Uh, I think uh, we need to look at the Tewksbury Titans. Uh, Sam Kanker there with 1550, uh, a great score uh, last week. And in fact, that should be the top score, I think, um, for the Tewksbury Titans. Swanit Sharks um, coming up behind there, and the PDA virtual team. With again, a great score from uh, Dean Angel with 1481. So as we're moving further down, you can see quite clearly that some really good scores going in. Uh, then looking at down, even if we go down to Team Germany, I mean, look at those scores. 1466, 1435, 1230. Again, in the Irish All-Stars, 1105, 1087. And then as we go to, um, as far down next to, oh, Live Darts Iceland, 1212, 1196. There's some serious scoring going on right the way down. And even down, if we've moved on a little bit further, Team Pure, 1143, 1034. Uh, there's a lot of 1,000-plus scores all the way down. Now, this will be crucial because as we then enter to Season 2, um, the leagues will be split. And here's a little bit of information on how that's going to work. OK, then. So, Season 2, what's new? Well, the league uh, is going to be split into three. For those that are scoring an average of 1,000 or more, which is plenty of you, uh, will go into the top league, the Premier League. For those that are averaging from 500 to 999, you're, again, plenty of us, uh, you'll be going into the Championship League. And for those that are just starting out or achieving up to 499 points on their average, will go into League One. One further thing to remember, though, as well as this, is it means it's promotion, relegation, etc. But also, the top eight positions within those leagues will receive virtual monies, virtual pounds. And those pounds can be used for purchasing players. Got that to come. Uh, news on the transfer market as well very shortly. Uh, but also things like maybe merchandise or maybe competitions and stuff. Lots of things that we can utilise for your virtual pounds that have been well earned on your weekly uh, darting sessions. So look out for season two and see which league you're going to be in. OK, Dream Team, four best scores of the week are as follows. Uh, Sam Kankit, 1550 for the Tewksbury Titans. Definitely be in your dream team. Uh, Tony Ares as 1510 for the England Invaders. Ricardo Patrisco, 1466 for Team Germany. And Dean Angel, 1481 for PDA Virtual. So, Sam, Tony, Ricardo and Dean, you're the dream team this week. OK, then uh, back to uh, Captain's Log. This week, uh, we're going to catch up with Jonathan Hurst, captain of Team Pure, and some of his teammates are going to join us too. So, Captain's Log with Team Pure. Uh, tonight, like the others, uh, we're, we're getting other team members involved. So, rather than Captain's Log, it's a bit of a Captain's Party, I think. Um, and this is Team Pure. Uh, Jonathan's the captain. John, hello. Hello. There's John. And um, we're joined by Pete and Matt as well. Hello. Oh, yeah. Evening. Evening, evening. Um, gentlemen, Team Pure. Why Team Pure? Interesting name. And um, where did it all start and who started it? Jonathan. Um, I got a message from Alan Collins saying, right. oh, oh, JDC, because I've done the virtual passport thing. He says, oh, they're doing a team event. And he says, you want to put a team? And I think we had like a day to put it in. So right. it was really, really rushed. So... He paid, Alan's company paid for all of us to be in it, Pure, so I thought, okay. why not just call it Team Pure? That's that's, re that's the only reason the name's called Team Pure. Because so, I'm, um, I'm an ambassador for them, and they've paid for it, so... Why not? Well, we better give them a plug. So what, what what's the company? It's uh, Pure Innocence, uh, uh, like, I don't know I'm a right ambassador, I can't even remember what they are. Uh, pure, 
Nobody's going to uh, watch, it's okay. Yeah, uh, the um, new uh, CBD oil, nutrition, uh, okay. after workout stuff, looking after the body after workouts and stuff like that. Yeah, 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 sure, sure. Right, you'll, get you, well, you'll, get, you'll, get, you'll get better information from their website. <laughs> That's very Which professional, is. Jonathan. Good plug, good plug. <laughs> um, Marvellous. There we are. Good plug, good plug. We don't care. Um, so how many is in the team? Um, there's four of us at the minute, and hopefully we'll be signing another one, Kev Stringer. Right. Uh, later on this week when he sends me his details through. Right. Which is, I've messaged him a week ago and he still hasn't got back to me yet. So, but there will be another member and we are going to be looking at adding to it. Yeah, good man, so, good man. Uh, we like competition, so we need competition for places. Yeah, just just for information as well, for those that are watching, you know, you can sign up at any time and, the, you know, you can have five, six, seven, eight, nine, doesn't matter how many it is. But obviously the more there are, uh, up to a maximum of 12, uh, there's a bit of competition within the team, you see. And then I guess you can have your qualifying rounds, a bit of pressure on that, as well as then the live. Um, Matt, how did you get involved? Did they just sort of wing you in or have you, uh, have you known these guys longer? Oh, I've known these guys for years and um, it was Alan that messaged, oh uh, no, I think it was um, John that messaged me. He said, oh, have you been invited to Alan's um, team for JDC? And I was like, well, no, I didn't know anything about it until John told me and uh, I've been added to it. So it's because, again, like John and Alan, I did the uh, the virtual one and yes. then I just sort of stopped for a little while and then heard this team one. I thought it would be good to get back into it again. So have you guys met in the real world or is it is it something you've met on? No, you know? Yeah, yeah. Well, we, we've been playing darts week together for BDDA, British Disability Darts Association. For, uh, right. I've, you've been in it longer, Matt, but I think I've known yeah. you about three years, four years. Yeah, I've been, it, been in it from pretty much the start. The, the good yeah. thing with, with our team is all, all the team members are members of the British Disabled Arts Organisation or right. World okay. Paradise. Right. So it, it not only are we, we doing it for them, we're doing it for ourselves as well because, you know, we want to get our name out there and yeah. it's, it's getting bigger and bigger. Um, so yeah, definitely. Well, let's plug that then. Cause you've got a logo on your shirt by the looks of it. So we'll, yeah. uh, we'll plug that in. Um, and, and also I noticed um, the JDC virtual is for everyone, but the JDC uh, classic sort of style for the children and um, getting involved with a, um, a Stockport disability darts league, getting involved in that and trying to understand a little bit more about what, what goes on in that world. So um, that's a positive. Um, and, and here, Pete, um, are, are you the um, <clears throat> are you the one that can actually throw, or is it, um, you know? Oh, I got bullied into this. Oh. Uh, yeah, I think, <laughs> I think you'll find out world champion at Disability Arts. Oh. Oh, right. I actually, here we I go. I'll just have to plug that. I'll just have Not to what somebody that. told me, but never mind. Uh, uh, and to be honest, I forgot our beating final. Oh, it was John. <laughs> That's the one, yeah. <clears throat> yeah. yeah. Ne ne oh, that was good. That was in Belgium. It was a very good organised. Yeah, thing. need I remind you who picked you both? Oh, yeah. <laughs> that would be you, Matt. <laughs> That'd be me. No, that was a great experience. Last year, it was the first ever Disability World Cup, and my boys went and won it. It was such a fantastic weekend. And to have John and Pete in the... Um, Standing classification final as well is it was, it was an amazing weekend. It was a very heavy weekend. Uh, not we only for the, the, we won the team though as well. Don't forget. Yes, we, we did. Yeah, that's what I just did said. You, did you yeah, say the first the ball, map? Huh? Did you say the first um, World Cup map? The very first one. Yeah. Why? Why? Why is it? 2020 or 2019 been so then you know, I'd have thought you'd have had many more before that. No. You'd have thought that, but unfortunately, we don't know why. Um, the plan, the, no, I mean the plan is the plan was to obviously have the next one in 2021, but obviously with that with the COVID situation, it's sort of mm. been pushed back a little bit. Um, but we were due to fly out this year in May to Holland again to compete in the European Championships. Right. Um, but again, that got postponed due to COVID. So they're looking at doing that in 2021 i think around september time but that's gonna be I'm quite interesting about that, Matt, because i've got it for another year do you know what i mean yeah exactly and i've got and i've, I've got the main trophy 
on a serious note though guys i mean i take it you've played darts for a long time then this this is something that you've you've been doing for quite a while oh, i've yeah, been play playing i've been playing since i was 11 and i'm like 37 now so a long time wow wow so where are we talking i mean i'm i'm from the sort of midlands area where where are you based then guys where where does team pure play from go on Matt, you want to go first uh, i'm i'm down in essex Right. But I, I will, I will, yeah. Leave me alone. What, what, what we should have said is, what, what's everybody's tier? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, oh, now we better not put our tier up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But one, one I, thing I, 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 will, I will... Support bubble. Go on. Matt, are you going? Uh, just I'll one thing I'll do what I, I do want to chuck in um, yeah. is that, speaking of Essex and especially Chelmsford, um, I've just been named a regional director for the Mad Darts down in my area. So, um, yeah, I'm looking forward to that. So it's going right. to be great fun. Oh, wow. Now you're talking. Congratulations, to, I mean, Pat. I'm getting blown away with what I'm seeing. I mean, uh, something, something very exciting in about 10 days time as well. So I can't wait for that. Um, yeah. It, 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 again, I mean, I've, I've admitted on this, this show and on many videos that I'm not a, proper dart player i do like to play obviously but for those that that have probably been um working their way through it over the last 10 or 15 years i bet it's been hard work but now there's a possibility of just rejuvenating the the amateur game and just having some fun out there and uh, lots of opportunities i can't wait so that's something you're going to be stuck into then matt um yes what about you boys? What's um what's the plan when we get rid of these restrictions? Do you, do you get out there and do lots of tournaments? Do you do you travel around a bit doing that kind of thing or how do you go with that? Yeah, definitely. I don't know, I can't speak for Pete, but when tournaments start again, I'm I'm gonna try and concentrate on the foreign ones abroad. Cause I'm gonna obviously gonna do the home ones in England as well, but I like holidays and I think going abroad and playing that to me is a perfect holiday. Not to our last, but <laughs> I could really, I really, really enjoy it. Plus, when you go abroad, you get the players that don't travel over here to play. So yeah. you're playing new, new people all the time when you're abroad. I know it's not at the World Cup like, so I really want to start playing abroad a bit more. The darts is incredibly, um, it's an incredibly social. Like Let's just play darts. Yeah, enjoy yeah. It, enjoy it. Be chomping at the bit for everybody to get on an aeroplane. I would have thought. Um, <clears throat> I like online darts, like, but it's no compared to being uh, on hockey with someone there. It's it's lonely playing online. Yeah. It did, well. And, and again, hopefully that at least for, I don't know how you run your sessions with Team Pure, whether you, you have a few days to do your qualifying or you actually do it all on a night. Um, but if you do it on a night, I, I found that I'm ending up having quite a good couple of hours with my team and it sort of passes a bit of time. We have a bit of a laugh, you know, um, and, and throw some darts. Yeah, we usually, for the past two weeks, we've been like doing it on a Thursday, qualifying team's gone through, then done it Friday. But this week, people have just gone like, Obviously, with work commitments and other stuff, we've just gone at separate times, you yeah. know. So, but we've, um, well, you've just done yours now, haven't you? So, team this week will be Pete, Matt, Michael, and Alan. So, I'm hoping to send them live soon when they when they're ready, like. So, when they message yeah. me, just say go live, and then they're gone. Yeah, the the um, flexibility, I suppose, with this is that if you have to work or you you've got to. Yeah, yeah. Somebody, exactly. there are teams with. I was chatting to a team yesterday. They got players in other parts of the world you know um yeah you got i was looking up the old calculator you know still old school uh, 855 average i think 1710 whatever your total is at the minute so uh, you can obviously throw with that kind of weekly scores um it's a bit tough there's some up some right hot scorers at the minute um throwing in here do you know do yeah, you know other teams do you know other dart players in other teams I, I, I don't know the other teams alan it's a shame he couldn't be on because he does, he really knows like every other team. But after the first week, like the first week was rushed. So it was like, right, we'll get a team in and do it. Yeah. And then it was like, right, I did G. The only reason I'm on JDC is because of Matt and Allen. Because Sadia tried this, it's good for practice. You know what I mean? I got totally in I'm a premium member to it. I play practice games and everything. Yeah. But I thought to myself, we need Matt because he is an every scorer at this game. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, he's absolutely. <laughs> Demon at it. So what's what's Matt's history then, Matt? What are you are you been you say you've been playing for <clears throat> twenty odd years? Um, what what's your history? Have you been playing 
um, you know, major competitions all that time, or was it? What, what's happened over? No, the I've been playing since eleven, and, I, and Essex is quite a strong county, and I've been playing uh, Super League since the age of nineteen. So, yeah. I guess I've just sort of kind of learnt through the game and. Just, just yeah, just generally just got better over time, playing with better players, having better players give me advice. Then the disability darts appeared and I just about made it uh, to be qualified. And just, yeah, from there, I mean, John and Pete will tell you that I've come on massively probably over the last couple of years, would you say, boys? Yeah, from, from first four, I, I played you in my first tournament in quarterfinals. And from you there to now... From then to now, it's just a, a great improvement. It's unreal. You wouldn't, rec- you. You wouldn't recognise that player back then. No, you, you've come on a lot, man. Definitely. No, it's playing, it's playing guys like these, though. You know, you're only going to get the best by playing by players of, of quality like Pete and John, Pete and John, since they've been in the BDDA, they've always been, I don't think they've been below the top three, top four. Um, I've always been around about the nine, ten mark. But, I mean, at the moment, obviously there's been no tournaments, but I'm currently sat number four. So it's quite quite good to me. I'm quite proud of myself. And even in the <laughs> online competitions. Cool. Any, anything that's above... I'm number two at the minute, that's bad. Yeah, this is only played one tournament, though. Yeah. <laughs> Can't think you beat in the final that, though. <laughs> so we, we've talked a lot about Alan, but as you say, he couldn't make tonight for for, for valid reasons, obviously. Um, and is Alan, uh, a, 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 you know, a, a proper shooter? Is he, he's been, plays a lot of darts, or is it, is it something he's just getting a team together? What does Alan do? I've known Alan since Chester, haven't I? Yeah, he's yeah. first tournament at Chester, and he, he actually that was the first tournament he played in of disability darts. And I fact, I beat him in the first round. I've just rubbed that in. Uh, <laughs> but, you, you are terrible. But we basically. Uh, yeah, right, we like, won't tell the score between me and Pete then. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I won you in that as well. It's <laughs> got to be clean, lad. lad. It's got to be clean, you know. <laughs> Uh, we'll, we'll uh, stop the recording and have a real chat, you know. <laughs> yeah. Alan, Alan's a great guy. He's he's, he, he's very knowledgeable. He knows quite a lot. He back in the day, he'll tell us. Back in the day, he used to be a world champion at Sabutio. So, um, yeah. when that was a thing, um, it's he'd always still gone a thing. About it's still a thing. Sabutio's not dead. He's <laughs> only <very bad. laughs> I, I but, actually have a Sabutio set. <laughs> <laughs> I'll probably have somewhere. Um, but he's a very not very knowledgeable guy, and he's he's a handy guy to have on your side. He, he'll he, he's very keen. Oh, positive, very, very positive. positive. Yeah, yeah, I'm brilliant. Absolutely yeah, I can, brilliant. I can sense that. Um, seen a lot of stuff from um, from Alan. Yes, absolutely. Um, well, look. We're, we're, I say, I'm talking to you now, and we're in week three, are we? Week three. So you yeah. know, we're getting towards halfway. Um, I wish you guys all the best. Um, it's been great to talk to another another t- a set of players, as well as the team captain. Thank you, Jonathan, for what you do. And we'll say thank you to Alan in, 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 with him not being here, of course. Um, and um, let's see how Team Pure get on in the uh, in the rest of the season. Um, good luck, lads. Thank you very much. Been a pleasure. Been a pleasure. No, man. Good to talk to you. Thanks, guys. <laughs> There we are then, another week down. Uh, Captain's log with uh, Jonathan Hurst of Team Pure uh, to round off uh, week four. We'll catch you next week with a bit more information on the transfer market and the leagues. Uh, Don't forget season two approaching, so you can get yourself signed up with your team members uh, for season two, uh, and uh, we'll catch up next week. (laughs) 